Hey, baby, and welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Primus Mod Sauce. How you guys doing? So, you may notice I'm in a different area here. I think I have found the area, and I think I have found the area where my base is going to be located. So, I'm going to show you here real quick, and then I think what we're going to do is set up one of those fancy enhanced portals to get out here. If we look on the map, you'll notice I'm way up here. Um, spawn is actually way down here, so I'm almost directly north of spawn. I was looking for an area where um, there were a bunch of mountains. What I, My idea for my base is it's going to be a floating island with a fantasy kind of factory on top of it. And then maybe a bunch of other little floating islands for modules and whatnot. You know, like I could have a Batania island, I could have a Steve's Carts tree farm island all floating around my main island here as you can tell I, I flew around quite a bit looking for a nice area for a base um just for your guys's um what is way out here there I, there's a marker way out here what is this i wonder what this is hold on let's zoom in here real quick oh this is this is where Brink's base is. It looks a little, um, the shape here looks a lot like something. I can't quite put my finger on it, but uh, man, his base is way the hell out there. Okay, just by comparison, he is way out here. Holy schmoly. Yep, Brink wants to be alone. He wants to be alone. <laughs> so, um, and just to show you guys maybe where some of the other guys' bases are, um, I think here in this hole, this is uh, this is in Fuego's Lord's Manor area, and he's uh, he set himself up on an island, and uh, he's got some beautiful surroundings and some of those gigantic trees. I forget what they're called. They're like magical, mystical, giganto trees. And I don't think I no. This was a possible base location. That's nobody. And I think oh yeah, uh, Blizzard is way out here. Blizzard and Schnix are way out here. Here's Schnix's little. Um, I guess Crosshair's base, and um, this is Blizzard City he's going to build. Look how big this thing is. This guy doesn't mess around. Okay, so yeah, just for comparison, that's where all the bases I know of are. Aaron is out here somewhere, but I got to go find his area um, and get it, get the map to load on it. So yeah, um, I've been to Aaron's base, so maybe he is actually closer than I think, but um, I don't see him on here anywhere. Unless he... Oh, shoot! He is way up here, isn't he? Hold on. Let's see here. Yeah! This is Aaron's base, and he is even further away than Brink. Holy schmoly, these guys. <laughs> wow! Okay, so, yeah. W let's quit screwing around. Let's get it out of this map. But in relation, that's how far people are away from base. Or spawn, I guess. And, yeah. So, um, yeah. We have we've, we fell in love with this area when we were flying over it. There's a ton of trees. And I think over in this direction, there's like an autumn biome. Um, I honestly am surprised I didn't set up in there, but what I was looking for was like a giant lake. Um, what I kind of want the look to be is that this island kind of rose up out of the ground. So we're going to put dirt underneath it, and it's going to have like a dirt base, but then we're going to go around it with maybe some of the fantasy texture blocks and so forth and fix it up. And then on top of that, we're going to build a gigantic fantasy factory. So yeah. We need to get a quicker way of getting here. Flying is kind of tedious. And I can get here by flying, but the way I've been getting back home is by using this Dimensional Changer from the Aroma 1997 Dimensional World mod. And let's just pull it up here. Let's type in Dimensional, Dimensional Changer. So it's this guy here. It's pretty easy to craft. You just need diamonds, eyes, and all that crap. And basically, this is a quick way to get to the mining world. So let's use it real quick. It's a little finicky for me because it does that. Um, it's, it's like it shoots off twice. So this is how I've been getting home. But I'll take you back to the mining world here real quick. Hopefully, it will let me stay this time. Sometimes it acts like I hit it twice, and I don't know how to fix that. Um, I don't know if it's my mouse being finicky or what. But yeah, here's the mining world, and as you can see, this is all the areas that I've quarried out. Um, yeah, so that I've, as you can see, I've done three small quarries, and I'm working on a very large one here. I wonder if it's doing it right now. I did just throw a bunch of carrots in it. Yeah, it's quarrying right now. So cool. What I've been doing is putting a little bit of water in here in order to get some obsidian. Oh, look at it go. So, yep. 
those are my quarries and if we hit this dimensional changer once again we're back at base hopefully it will let us stay this time oh no it's taking me back geez so yeah what i'm saying is we need a more reliable way to get from base to base and yeah this dimensional changer is a little finicky it gets me to the quarry um yeah it looks like i've got 66 stacks of carrots that'll last me a little bit um so yeah cool um, what we want to do is mess around with the enchanted portals. So let's do that. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna get some stuff together real quick, and then we're gonna work on that. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I went ahead and I made myself uh, 12 of these Ender. Wait, what? Ender infused metals? No, dimensional bridge stabilizer. Why are there two? That is interesting. Is this a different recipe? This is a different recipe. I guess this is if you just want to use it as a building material. That is weird. Okay. Um, yeah, I made myself uh, 12 of these dimensional bridge stabilizers. These are kind of like the brain or the powerhouse of your portals. And you also use these to sync all your portals up. So you need, uh, I think, at least 12 to start. But it's a multi-block structure. And as you can see in the uh, description there, you can make it up to 256 blocks tall, which is crazy face. I guess you would have to have a lot of damn portals going on for that to happen. So yeah, here's our dimensional bridge stabilizer recipe. We got 12 of them. The next thing we want to make are these location cards. Um, these are pretty cheap, actually. So let's go ahead and make a few of these. We've got a bit of lapis here. We can put this up, and we can probably put that up. Oh, we need to make paper, so we can't put that up. So here, let's go ahead and make paper. Uh, we'll ignore that phone call, and we'll make paper. Here we go. So can I shift-click this in? That would be awesome. There we go. We just need... I don't think we need more than 16 at the moment. So we can put the rest of this back. Um, the next thing I want to do is make a bunch of these portal frames. What kind of thing do I need for the portal frame? We need stone. That's what we're missing. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some stone. Do we not have stone in here? That's crazy. Oh, I need to re-equip my little bobble. I feel like I'm walking very slowly. Uh, can I pick you up? Goodbye, gold nuggets. Get out of my face. So the next thing is portal frame. Let's make a bunch of these. I'm, I'm kind of in the mood to make some weird giant portals. So 40 seems like fine. So, ah, man, my inventory is such a damn mess all the damn time. There's got to be something I could do about this. I need, like, an extra large inventory all the time. Um, we can get rid of that. Baked potatoes, you can go away. Magma crucible, not crucible, magma cubes and whatnot. And you, go away. All right. Inventory clean. Maybe we can begin with this after we eat a delicious fish dinner. Oh, yum, yum. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. What I think I'm going to need, of course, is probably a portal controller. So that is just a portal frame and a diamond. Do I have any diamonds on me? I have 27. So yeah, let's make two of these. Why can I not do... Oh, I didn't do it right. Is this a portal frame? No, it's a block of quartz. I wish the portal frames didn't look like blocks of quartz. This is... Where are my portal frames at? There we go. One, two. And we'll throw two diamonds in there. All right, we've got two portal controllers. And I think I want the redstone interface. Do I have redstone on me? Of course I don't. Boom. And let's make two of these redstone interfaces. One, two. One for each portal. So we're going to activate these portals with buttons, I suppose. Um, we're probably going to need a network interface, I think. And we may as well make a few of these dialing devices just for fun -zo. So one, two. All right. And I think that's all we're going to need for now. We could make this dialing device, which is just a network interface with a thing. We can either use the network interface for, to just put two portals together, or we can use the dialing device to put many portals together. So maybe we'll do that. Let's try that. So dialing device, dialing device. Okay, so one thing we can do is a couple of guys on the server already have some portal set up. So we're going to take a look at Pingo's portal over there. And the way we're going to do it is by putting on these fancy 3D glasses. And we're going to go check out how he has his setup. And we're just going to we're just going to straight up copy it. Um, yeah, that sounds fine to me. So his is right here. Look, it's already on. So here's his portal. He just has 
regular old portal frames and then he has a he has a dialing device and a portal controller so i think those are the two things we're going to need to set up a portal so let's get to it i guess what we need to do first is set up our dialing device or our dimensional bridge stabilizer and we want to do that to a power source so we're going to throw it down here in the basement where our power system is um maybe we should just put it right here yeah we're going to put it right here We'll eventually clean this up for something nicer later. Oh, you know what I'm going to need? I think I'm going to need the wrench. I wonder if a regular wrench would work. Yep, regular wrench works. So if we open this up now, let's go ahead and grab some cables from our bag of holding. Do I have any cables in here? I could have swore I did. Oh, man. My bag of holding is not holding what I need it to. All right. Let's go grab ourselves some cable. Any cable in here? Here's some. Cool. I need to make sure that I'm always carrying a good supply of cable with me just so I don't have to do crap like this all the time. So let's do this. And that might... Active portal zero. Oh, does this not take power anymore? This thing might not require power anymore. Oh, it's getting power from here too. Huh. That's weird. All right. Let's put some... Let's put two location cards in here. One, two. Did it do it? Location set. Okay, so we've got our location cards. And now I think all we have to do is maybe set up a portal. And I'm thinking I might want to do it right here. This seems like a good a place as any. My wife will not stop calling me right now. Stop calling me. I'm trying to I'm trying to set up a portal. So let's see here. Dialing device. We're gonna put the dialing device right in the center. We're going to put the network interface or the portal controller right next to it. And then just a bunch of damn portal frames around it. Where are your portal frames? You look like everything. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Let's do it like this. We'll make it extra tall for no good reason. Just to make it tall. And yeah, there we go. So if I then click open the portal controller, right? Or do I need a wrench? Do I just shove the card into it? Maybe that's how it goes. There we go. Portal initialized. Cool. So if we click this, you must set a unique identifier before doing this. How do I do you? How do I set a unique identifier? Oh, messed it up. Shoot. Will this bring it back to normal? No, nope. I just wasted a location card. Let's put another one in here. What the hell? Oh, this is no longer... What the crap? Okay, I screwed something up. Let's go back down here. And let's set up two new cards, I guess. Alright, location set. Cool. I don't know why the one lost its location. Let's get that wrench, shall we? There is a wrench in this mod pack. Let's see here. Can I just click this in? Of course I can't. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? All right. All right, one wrench, please. Let's see if this wrench does any magicalness. If I click, if I click you. Portal reconfigured. Okay, so it does have my card in there. You know what I'm going to do is, uh, I think I do need to put a network thing in here. And Oh, we forgot to put this in here as well. Let's do this, and let's do this, and let's see if we can get it reconfigured. Boom! Success! Portal reconfigured! Dialing device, you must set a unique identifier before doing this. So, how do I do that? Damn it! <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? Alright, maybe I do need that network interface. Alright, portal reconfigured. Let's make that network interface deal. Because I think that's how you set your thing up. And my inventory, once again, is a freaking mess. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Network interface. Okay. So hopefully that will do it. Pingu's didn't look like it had a network interface. But uh, maybe we'll figure this out on the fly. Okay. Network interface. 
get in my face. Very good. You cannot have a dialing device and a network interface in the same portal structure. Okay, so at least it was smart enough to tell me that. Is there anything else down here? Just blocks. Okay. Okay, so you can't do that. So how do I set a unique identifier? God damn it! I am getting royally pissed off at, at this. I'm mainly getting pissed off at myself because I can't seem to click things correctly. What? How do these cards keep losing their freaking crap? Urgh. Alright. I do not understand why these cards keep losing their, their thing. There. Portal initialized. Now, how? Maybe I gotta do it with an open hand, and that is, like, impossible right now because my inventory is a damn mess. Alright. More stuff into the, uh, the, the cluttered bag of holding. Alright. Let's try it with a closed hand, shall we? Let's try this with a closed hand. How do I set you? I want to set a unique identifier, but how do I do it? Ah! There we go. I just had to click it again, apparently. All right, let's set ourselves a unique identifier. We're going to be four cakes. Save. Um, portal controller, private or public? Public. We're going to make it public. Okay. Yeah. Portal identifier, four cakes. Public. Private. Public. There we go. So, what do I do now? Ah, here we go. Manual entry. Oh, so I think each portal is going to require its own identifier. So here at the base, this is going to be four cakes. And then maybe at our other base, we will set it for, um, I don't know, something else. So guys, I'm going to pause the video right here. And I'm going to fly over to the other base and see if I can get this to work. I think we're so close, guys. Cross your damn fingers. Okay, guys, we are back and i made it all the way back over here to my new base and let's see if we can get this thing going here real quick let's see here i've got my dialing device i don't think i need the redstone interface but it'll be good to have in there anyway so so first let's put in the dialing device then not the network interface we want the portal controller okay and yeah then let's just set up a nice little portal here okay boop we want it to be nice and symmetrical. Something like this. I don't have a lot of blocks, so I can't go crazy with it, but this looks like a pretty good shape. There we go. Okay, so if we then do this with the location card, we've got a nice portal. Click this. We want the unique identifier out here to be, let's do, um, do, do, do. what do we want this area to be? Let's do four cookies. Four cookies. Save. We want it to be public. Okay. Yeah, and I think we're done there. So, if we then do this, manual entry. If we do four cakes and save, we're gonna save this as home. Oh my God, I, I really have gotta delete all this. Thank you, thank you, uh, interface. Let's call this Spawn House. Oh, look at this. We can set textures and stuff. Oh, look at that. What if I put this in here? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. All right, let's get back. Save. Spawn House and save. All right, so dialing device, Spawn House. <gasps> look at that. Oh, and the... the portal change too let's see if we can do this <gasps> it worked guys it worked we're back here at spawn and look at the frame it's beautiful all right guys so cool we got the thing working and we can keep this going indefinitely um we're definitely gonna have to build something around it so that uh we don't fall to our death every time we go through but there we go guys we've got the portal frame set up and yeah so we gotta make a few more things before we keep going but uh, yeah, let me figure that out and we'll be right back.
Okay guys, I've been messing around with this, uh, this here portal and I think I've got it looking exactly how I want it so that it matches my spawn base and so it looks good on this side too. You can mess around with the configurations here under this little um, tool section. Now you just gotta kind of go in here and you can see at the bottom there's some frames and whatnot. If you click on one of them, you can set your facade here. Um, I'm not sure what these guys up here are for. Um, maybe these are um, like things you can put in yourself. Oh, we can set the color. Oh, I'll have to mess around with this. I'm not sure what this is, but it is color with a U, which makes me think the mod author is uh, from the UK or something. But anyway, um, you can also set the color of the portal itself, which is really cool. I went with green, mainly because of my armor. And yeah, and then apparently there's particles, but I haven't seen any of these particles, and I don't think I have my particles diminished. But uh, we could actually check that right now. Let's see here. Options, video settings, particles, all. Yeah, I'm not seeing any particles come in and out of this thing. So maybe that is a different setting. But yeah, we've got our portal set up like how we want. And we can go in and out of it at will. It does do a little funny frame rate thing when you go through it. But that's a small price to pay for traveling instantaneously across the universe. So guys... As always, I want to thank each and every one of you handsome and gorgeous people for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give it a big old thumbs up. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye. Follow me on Twitter. Be my best friend. Bye.